I feel like wow. Yeah My life be like I'm with Environment Colorado and we're just calling on our next president, whoever gets elected, to make sure that America's got a green economic recovery plan to create good jobs and clean energy while it also cuts global warming pollution. We can make progress on fixing our energy economy if we all work together. The best way that you can help is to become a grassroots member with our organization to fight um, all the environmental issues that are facing Colorado right now. Well, my name is Grant Franco. As far as the work in progress goes, this is a progressive um, future we're working on. Obviously, um, we're going for a Barack Obama, but the organization here is a nonprofit organization, and um, I'm glad to be a part of it. And I just want to make a difference, and we're definitely ready for change. This is my second day campaigning, going out there and convincing people about what's really going on about the politics and um, trying to make sure that they're not ignorant about um, the, the issues that we're discussing for our future. My name is Liza. I'm a volunteer organizer here with Progressive Future and Environment Colorado, working to elect Barack Obama this fall. Uh, as far as this uh, election uh, cycle has gone, have you noticed that uh, there's a lot more involvement with young people in the election campaign, or do you find it's just still the same type of things? Um, yes, I think there definitely has been a much higher involvement of young people across the board. Um, university students, people in high school, we have people working here that are 16, 17 years old, not even old enough to vote, and yet they're out canvassing, going door to door because they're passionate about changing this country. Um, I think thousands of new young voters have been registered, and I think this is definitely building a movement that's going to grow in the coming years. Do you think we're at a turning point in this election, and if so, in which direction? What, what, which direction are we going to go if Barack Obama is elected here? Oh, we are going to go in the right direction um, if Barack Obama is elected. I think it's about time we start focusing on the fact that 47 million Americans are uninsured, um, don't have health care, the fact that we should have been investing in clean energy, solar, wind power, 15 years ago and we haven't because of dependence on connections in oil companies. I think if Obama gets elected, um, it's about time we had an intelligent person that can actually speak in the White House. What kind of basic uh, operations go on here throughout the day as far as uh, what, what happens? In the morning kids show up or volunteers show up, you get them going? Kind of give us the ABCs of this. Sure. Um, we actually run a paid canvasser office, so most of the people that are working here are paid. Um, and we run three shifts during the day. We get in about eight in the morning. We don't leave till one in the morning. Um, everyone that's here working full time is incredibly passionate about this work and about making changes, starting in communities, starting with families, starting from the bottom up. Um, so the canvassers come in about nine o'clock. They usually canvass a five and a half hour shift going door to door. Um, we have a morning shift, an evening shift, and an afternoon shift. And um, we have everybody from 16-year-olds, as I said before, to 50 and 60-year-olds in our office. And that's the beauty of this election, I think. Uh, after the election is all said and done, and then maybe even before, just in our thought here, let's think this, is, is there really a big, huge difference all in all between Republicans and Democrats? Or is this a manufactured thing in the media? Uh, Colorado is a swing state, mm -hmm. and as my little story as I've been thinking about it is, uh, there seems to be a lot of balance between the two sides, mm -hmm. and maybe that fringe out where kind of balancing things up. If I'm wrong, tell me so, or if I'm right, tell me so. <laughs> um, I think it's very problematic that in this country we are so divided by party lines. Um, I've spoken with countless people that identify as Republicans yet relate to a lot of the issues that Barack Obama and Joe Biden are talking about, health care, energy, ending the war in a responsible way. I think these are universal issues and we should start voting on um, things that are important to us and change our lives, not on party lines. I love it. Hi, my name is Garrett and I'm with Environment Colorado. Are you Stephanie? Yes. 
Hi, well, um, I'm just going around the neighborhood talking to people about the 2008 election, and I'm asking if the election were held today, would you vote for Barack Obama, John McCain, or undecided? Obama, all the way. Okay, awesome. I like your pins in your bag. Thank you. Um, and uh, also, we're asking about the Senate election, if you're for Mark Udall, uh, Bob Schaefer, undecided? All Democrat. Okay, awesome. Um, well, we're also trying to get Obama in the White House and to... Um, just look past the election and help them shift toward clean energy and cut global warming pollution. So um, you can help us with uh, your signature to build our, up our strength through numbers. And this is just kind of a petition to become a member with Environment Colorado. And we're just working on the issues that affect Colorado. Would sure. you like to sign up? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, we're also asking people if they'd like to volunteer to help uh, try to get everyone who's for Obama out to the polls and get uh, electing. So would you like to sign up for that also? Sure. Okay. I'll just mark your name here and we can contact you uh, in the future to possibly go out and help us. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for your support. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. And Environment Colorado is an independent voice on energy issues and also the 2008 presidential election and we're unaffiliated with any candidate or candidate committee. And you can find more information by going to environmentcolorado.org.